G'day, my name's Cannon Fodder. The following video will serve not only as uh, this is what I've been playing recently, but also as a New Year's update, I guess, as a matter of doing things. Because, you know, reasons. But where are my manners? G'day, my name's Cannon Fodder, and welcome to Farm Manager 2021. This is what I have been playing recently. It seems like, you know, one of those, those basic sim games, right? You know, plonk down some fields, buy some machines, and off they go. It's a little bit more complex than I would give it credit for. I did charge in headlong when I first bought it. It was on sale during the Steam Winter Sale. Uh, bankrupted myself four times before I figured out what the heck was going on. And I've been having a lot of fun. It's very peaceful. Uh, there are many things to do. I do believe that at a certain point there's going to be less things for me to do other than selling and micromanaging various industries and that kind of thing. It is, it's very much one of those take a raw resource, process it down the line, sell the finished resource type of thing. So we start with wheat, we feed it to the cows, the cows give milk, milk becomes cheese, cheese becomes something. I haven't got that far. I don't know what the cheese becomes. Right now I'm just selling the cheese and the milk because I have way too much milk. Um, but we're also in the process of uh, making oil settle down, Americans. You know what you did. Um, so... Uh, it's also just uh, another resource that you have to micromanage are uh, your employees. You know, how good are they at the job that they're doing and can you train them more? Oh, she's not in the right one. Ah, whatever. It is what it is. At least we have... Um, and so, you know, people with particular skills obviously work better in particular environments. So, uh, we should probably start at the start. Uh, you start with a rundown farmhouse and you have to buy machines and plant crops. Certain crops go faster than others. Other crops take a really long time. It took two years for my first apricot, apple and pear fields to produce a decent harvest. Grass almost near constantly grows unless you're in winter that can become silage there is obviously uh, you can sell the grass but it's better to make it into silage because it basically doubles the price that you can sell your grass for other things like corn this is a feed corn as opposed to corn that you can turn into corn flour i mean you can feed this to your animals as well there are multiple different animals i started with chickens chickens gave me eggs i managed to crash my egg market quite a few times over the course of five or six hours worth of playtime, it was very amusing. It would save all my eggs, wait for the price to go up, and then probably sell 20,000 eggs, egg, eggs to whatever consists of a local market, either that way or that way. That, I think that's the power station, that's the city. Uh, thereby crashing the egg market and plummeting the price from $4.50 per unit to like three something, two something at some point. It was very amusing. I had a lot of fun giggling with chat while I was streaming this. Uh, there are other things... Uh, yeah, we can keep track of what we've got up there. That's our money. Or that $2 million on things. Whoops. Various tractors. We can show you what that all looks like. The different bits and pieces. There's the big ones and the little ones. The little ones are obviously cheaper. And the big ones are more expensive and do more things. Again, various things. I haven't got into doing things like wine yet, because we can do wine. Uh, there are certain things in here that I'm not entirely certain how they use them. For instance, this trailer with water never gets used. I've never seen a tractor pull it out and run over a crop with it. Um, but every single crop insists that they need a trailer with water, otherwise nothing happens and it's infuriating. So, this here you're probably seeing is, I want to say, about 15 hours worth of gameplay. 
Uh, in that time, I suffered several setbacks as well as a whole bundle of other stuff. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, there's no auto sell button. Would that there were, because it would be very helpful to automatically sell a lot of the product of which I make. Ooh, sunflower oil, 1791. Yes, please. And I'm going to sell half of this. Okay, not half, but you know what I mean. There we go. Back up to 5 million. Now we can do things. Ooh, fancy. Um, So yeah, this is this is what I've been doing. This is this is this is my fun. I yeah, that's seasonal housing. Let's go to permanent housing and hire some people with the manufacturing perk. Okay, it's just those two. You can see here. So plants works really well on fields. Uh, there are bees in this. You can make honey. There are. There's an orchard stat. There it is. It makes the orchards go vroom. Uh, but yeah, I'm ignoring a lot of the pop-ups because it's going. Oh, we're out of a particular item, and it's just waiting on stuff. It's fine. Uh, manufacturer number 22, there we go. And we'll grab, we'll get some more manufacturing guys. Do, 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 do. Machines, no, machines is for tractors. Um, it means that they can drive the tractors better without having accidents, uh, which are very expensive. Um, yeah, we can make apple juice as soon as we have apples. I'm also going to turn my apricots into dried apricots because that is a thing that we can do and we get a vast hoard of them. The only thing that we're going to just sell straight up is pears because we can't really do anything with those. Um, we have plums, we have that and that. And that all over here, I might add, so strawberries and black currants and plums and rasp berries, there we go, and then over here uh, we do get cherries, so I'm going to make cherry juice, um, and then I think that will do it, oh, might as well make some more apples, apple juice. Uh, electricity is also something that factors, uh, so... Yeah, it's, it's complaining about some stuff. Do I not have any wheat? I wonder if it's asking me to buy it. I'm completely out of wheat. Wow. That's just so rude. And oatmeal, of course. Gotta love me some oatmeal. There we go. Uh, well, I mean, 78 days on that one. I might as well buy some wheat then, I guess. Um, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's make that 12,000. Uh, that should be fine. Too easy. Cool. Uh, we're not selling the corn until it becomes in corn part. That's this is basically like uh, the markets. Uh, I'll get an extra bonus on raspberries, but corn and something on black vines won't sell so well. Um, not entirely certain why I made a beet field, but you know it is what it is. So this is what it is. It's it's carefully managing your resources until you get to a point where you kind of don't have to. So I'm not having to click on vehicles to repair them or anything because I have a mechanic. I'm not having to click on buildings for maintenance because I have a handyman and he takes care of all of that. Uh, logistics, self-explanatory, 
people grab trucks, drive the trucks around, grab the stuff that they need to, to send to places. Certain machines are bigger than others, like the combine takes up quite a fair bit of space, uh, rather than a tractor. Having your stuff indoors makes it last longer. Um, there are nine tractors over here, I think I might need to move some of those. Yeah. This is what I've been up to, and it has been a very enjoyable game. But cannon, you might ask, what's the point? To farm and to sell, obviously, to make all the money. No, it's just it's just relaxing. I'm like, yeah, there's production chains and stuff like a lot of the other games that I play, but I'm not having to think overly hard about it. For instance, Factorio requires like 20 different items to make one, and then you've got to figure out pathing, whereas this one is just place down a building, place down a field, and off they go. They'll take care of it themselves, eventually. Okay, that's planted. Planting in progress. Uh, that's growing, and that's growing. Cool. Growing. 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 Awesome. That's fantastic. Let us repark. This guy over here. I'm gonna repark this guy. I want to repark him over here, but I don't think I've got the space for it. No, I've already got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably a few more. So we'll toss that in there. Then to top that all off. I may regret deleting this, but you know, we'll just we'll build it again later. It doesn't cost that much. We've done the research. It shouldn't cost that much at all. But yeah, right now we're going whole hog on cheese, wheats, and or breads rather, bread and jam. So we're making rye jam, rye bread, and wheat bread in our bakeries. Uh, we have several mills for which we are making rye flour, wheat flour. We're also making oatmeal and corn flour. Uh, I don't believe the corn flour does anything. No. At least near enough as I can tell. Uh, yeah, we're gonna turn it into corn flour and that's about it. Oh my goodness. I know it's kind of rambly, but it's the style of video that it is. We've also got seasonal employees and you can pick when they show up as well, which is because it means that I'm not having permanent employees the entire time. Um, it means I could have employees just around harvest season so that we can get an influx of people to pull everything into the barns before winter. So. I don't like that it doesn't give a specific day that that's going to be ready on. Like, I wonder if there's more detail somewhere. It's probably not important. I have 70,000 bales of silage. Yeesh. Let's sell 60 odd of those. I'm gonna sell probably 30 odd of that. Uh, 10,000 milk. 50,000 corn. I'm only turning it to corn flour at this point. This has only been utilized by one animal so far, and that's the sheep. I don't honestly have a lot of those. Obviously sell off all of our rye bread and our cheeses, our poop, corn flour, soy oil, oatmeal, canola oil. That's rye flour, that's wheat flour, oh, and we've got some jam ready. Uh, soy oil and sunflower, sunflower oil sells for a lot. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. But that just nets us a nice little $750,000. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. I'm actually wondering whether or not I should change out the soy. Because, I mean, yes, uh, my sheep eat it. But I can put that down for wheat and change the soy into a different oil product. 
because that sells for 90,000 90, kilos of the colza oil, which I guess, like, uh, canola, I guess. 70,000 for that one, 71 for the flax oil. Hemp sells for 75. Bio hemp. Maybe we're, maybe we're going to bio seeds. Ooh. Because that could, that could work out quite well. Um, but yeah, so the New Year is going to bring more Factorio. Because we're going to get onto the bit where I said we'll talk about the New Year's. The New Year will bring more Factorio. Probably more Farm Manager. I'm at a bit of a loss to do what after Factorio. I might try to do something that is not farm related. Uh, sorry, factory related. I was going to go direct, just straight into Satisfactory. But I think I might leave that f for at least the first six months. Um... I try to find a, a city builder that isn't trash at this point in time because I would like City Skylines too. I just, yeah, the reviews are not exactly favorable on it right now, or at least at the time of recording this video. So, but yeah, we'll try and wrap up Factorio sometime in the next six months. Although I don't know how I'm going to do that because it's taking a while. Uh. Don't know what I'm going to do into it afterwards. Maybe, maybe, we, maybe we go visit a block game, Terraria or Minecraft or something like that. But um, I have—I want to say I have no plans. I'm pretty laissez-faire about the whole thing, to be completely honest. So we will we will see what takes our fancy, and we'll go from there. But anyway, that's all for now. If you like what you saw, then please like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you in the next video.